Okay, we're going to discuss the surface of the earth and uh, the structure and so forth. And this is apparently an ancient cavity, and this was the ancient surface of the earth. And uh, it, you, you'll see this, but this to me represents a good sign because it's obviously um, it's obviously a good sign that these kind of things are, are a cyclical type of, of an event, it appears. Alright, this is a, uh, a picture that's going around the internet and you can see there's a person walking down in here and this I believe is representative of the entire surface of the earth and these holes are literally what I'm calling biodigesters and normally they would tube into the surface of the earth and the organic matter above this layer above would sink down in and be literally digested by the earth. Now if you look at this layer right here, this dark layer, if you can see that it's exactly a, a, a layer between the structural surface and the actual organic matter mat that lies on the surface of the earth. These structures are holding these things up and they collapse down in the center and we're seeing it all over the earth. Now this is literally, I'm saying the earth is alive and this brown layer is literally skin. That is the skin of the earth. And the skin coats this structural fabric. It's a cellular structural fabric. It's pretty evident if you look at blue holes and sink holes and all the methane gas bubbles that are coming up on Lake Bacall. And I mean, the, the evidence is irrefutable that this is what the surface of the Earth is covered with, is these kind of circular round holes. And my feeling is, is that that is where the organic matter that is up above is coming down into here. It gets washed into these holes then the earth digests it. And then deep in the earth, and you probably don't know this, and nobody seems to know this, the deep, deep, deep in the earth, the deepest borehole they've ever made, when it, it gushed boiling hydrogen out of it. The, the, the deep earth is consuming these hydrocarbons. They, when they bored uh, the deep cola borehole in Russia, and look it up, they've, they've, nothing was there that they expected, and then they all went home and forgot about it. There was boiling hydrogen, at eight miles down, seven miles down, something like that. There was no solid mantle. It was all crushed, pulverized basalts. There was water, totally not expected. Boiling hydrogen coming out of there. Now that they, they found that there's a conveyor belt that's in this layer, uh, deep, deep, deep down, that brings all this leftovers over to the volcanoes to shoot it back up to repopulate the earth with raw materials then life consumes that, the organic material collects, it drops down, the earth consumes it, and that's what's going on. And the earth is alive. And if they go into these blue holes, and you can see it, I have videos that show this, they are digesting the organic matter. And it's, it's just, it's completely, totally, 100% obvious. It's obvious. It's not, there's not, no guesses to be made here. It, it, this, the earth is alive and it's dying, and Mars is dead. Now, who killed it? I don't know, but I can tell you it's dead, and I, I'm going to show you the evidence about that. There'll be another video about the structure of Mars and why Mars is now dead, and Earth I st still consider is alive at this point, but you know, all the squeaks and crushing noises that are coming out of the Earth, it's collapsing. Uh, the, everything that's under these digesters now has been drained so low that the, the surface is, is crushing itself. Now, I don't know what the end result of that is. All right, see what's going on around the earth and there, oh, everywhere. There's sinkholes everywhere now. And I mean, they're not little tiny sinkholes either. These things are huge, they're, and they're, they're literally everywhere around the earth. And you see the exact cylindrical shape of this. That's exactly what you saw in that cave. And these are also in blue holes. All right, now these are blue holes, and these are the ones that are alive, and they're transporting organic matter down and through, and then they always exit somewhere. Um, and that's just the biodigestion of, of the surface of the earth. Now, this is the kind of stuff that really needs to be looked at. How is it structurally built? How is it supported? What's going on? I mean, can we go down there and look and find where things have collapsed? 
you know, in these blue holes, this is the area we should be looking in because this is the area that's still uh, visible and we can and we can examine it. And that's my thoughts anyway. Maybe I'm wrong about this whole thing, but I believe there's too much evidence supporting the exact symmetry of these blue holes versus sinkholes versus that cave uh, structure and, 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 and everything that we're seeing on the face of the earth. Uh, and I, and I, it, it just appears to me that it has something to do with the structural integrity of the surface. Now, after that, I don't know what to say. I know that there, there's a tremendous amount of methane emissions. And the methane emissions are from biodigestion of organic material. And, and there is no question about that. That's a fact. So, I'm saying the biodigesters are these holes. The organic matter is the digested material. The methanes and hydrogens are the gaseous emissions. The depths that the holes are now dropped into, uh, the, 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 where there is a fabric over these holes, inside now a lot of them are collapsing because the, 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 the material and the fluids that normally supported the interior ha have been diminished, they're gone. So the structural cavities now appear to be collapsing. Um, that's what it looks like to me. Now, like I say, it's something that's got to be looked at. As far as I'm concerned, there's too much to, to just not look at. It's, oh, it's nothing here. Well, there is something here, I think, and, and it should be looked at. So that's what I'm asking for, somebody to, you know, take hands of it. I had nothing I can do about it. I'm just bringing up the facts. Now, if I had a solution, I'd certainly be doing it, but I do not have a solution. I'm just asking for somebody to examine it, the people that we look to for solutions. And, and they, so far, have not looked.